Most people don't see daytime sleepiness as a big problem most of the time this is not the case but if your drowsiness persists and bothers you in everyday life it may be time to see the doctor in this video I will share with you some factors that contribute to why you are always tired so sit back relax and enjoy the video and remember to subscribe to the channel many factors can contribute to your drowsiness. You may not be getting enough sleep due to an underlying health problem such as sleep apnea or narcolepsy your doctor can help you determine the cause of your fatigue and comment on treatment why you are always tired one consuming too many refined carbs carbohydrates can be a quick source of energy when you eat them your body breaks them down into sugar which can be used as fuel however if you eat too many refined carbohydrates you will get tired all day to keep your energy level stable replace sugar and refined carbohydrates with high fiber whole grains also vegetables and legumes are essential for your diet eating refined carbohydrates can lead to unstable blood sugar levels which can make you tired instead choose whole foods with minimal impact on blood sugar lack of quality sleep lack of sleep is one of the most prominent causes of fatigue your body does many things while you sleep including storing memory and releasing hormones that regulate your metabolism and energy level after a good night's sleep you usually wake up fresh awake and full of energy if you are physically active during the day you can sleep more restfully at night you can sleep more restfully at night a study in older adults found that exercise improves sleep quality and reduces fatigue poor or inadequate sleep is a common cause of fatigue if you sleep continuously for several hours your body and brain can recharge making you feel energized all day to improve the amount and quality of your sleep go to bed at approximately the same time each night relax before bed and enjoy plenty of activity during the day adults need an average of seven hours of sleep a night for optimal health not eating enough calories calories are units of energy contained in food your body uses them to move and promote processes such as breathing and maintaining constant body temperature if you eat too few calories your metabolism slows down to save energy which can lead to fatigue however most people need at least 1200 calories a day to avoid slowing their metabolism to keep your energy levels high avoid drastic reductions in calorie intake even if your goal is to lose weight Sleeping at the wrong time can reduce your energy sleeping during the day and not at night changes the daily rhythm of your body these are the biological changes that occur in response to light and darkness during a 24-hour cycle. Proper hydration is essential to maintain good energy levels the many biochemical reactions that occur in your body every day cause water loss that needs to replace dehydration occurs when you don't drink enough fluids to replace the water lost in urine stool sweat and breathing drink 8 glasses of water 237 milliliters a day depending on your weight age gender and level of activity you may need more or less the key is to drink enough to maintain the right level of hydration and the common symptoms Symptoms of dehydration include thirst fatigue dizziness and headache. Excessive stress Excessive stress can have profound effects on your energy level and quality of life while some stress as normal excessive stress has been linked to fatigue in several studies your stress response can also affect how tired you feel while you can't avoid stressful situations developing stress management strategies can help you avoid feeling exhausted according to some studies it suggests that yoga and meditation can help reduce stress by engaging in these similar mind-body practices you can ultimately feel more energetic and better able to deal with stress. Food sensitivities often cause symptoms such as rashes as rashes digestive problems, runny nose or headaches but fatigue is another often overlooked symptom research also suggests that the quality of life of people with food sensitivity may be more affected by fatigue common food intolerances are gluten dairy products eggs soy and corn suppose you think certain foods might make you tired in that case you should work with a nutritionist who can do a food sensitivity test or prescribe an elimination diet to help determine which foods are problematic. 
Sedentary lifestyle and activity can be the cause of your low energy but many people say they are too tired to exercise in a recent study this was the most common reason why middle-aged adults and older people did not exercise all adults need 2 hours and 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise per week and muscle strengthening activities that work all the major muscle groups on two or more days per week replace sedentary behaviors with other active to increase your energy level for instance stand up instead of sitting down as much as possible taking the staircase instead of the elevator and walking instead of driving short distances i hope you found this video helpful and informative if so please like comment and share the video